Hey, what's going on everybody it's your boy stoned here at the stone mandalorian my channel welcome back and today i got another badass black series figure review brand new out of 2024 and this is grand admiral thrawn from the ahsoka series disney plus series played by lars mickelson does a fantastic job he actually voiced thrawn in the rebels animated series awesome mural art right here looks just like him it's a pretty badass mural art actually on the back it says, the last unaccounted for Grand Admiral of the Imperial Navy. Thrawn is a brilliant military commander. Should he, be returned, should he return to the galaxy, he has the potential to plunge the New Republic into war once again. So, I don't really cover the packaging as much as I used to at first, but I do like to at least give you all a quick look and what to see, what to look for, and stuff like that. But, looks pretty good, man. Looks just like Lars Mikkelsen. Uh, really nice, clean uh, Imperial Officer outfit. He's got his ranking plate here. Looks awesome. So let's, uh, let's open this thing and get a closer look at it. And here is Thrawn out of the box. I wanted to give you all a quick 360 degree view. I love this open hand gesture. It really just does a lot for the vibe of the figure, the expression of the figure. Uh, just a really good looking figure, man. It's really dope to have this version of Thrawn. The archive version or the galaxy version, the old school, older version is just... I kind of like the look of it because it's got a little more of a Chiss alien vibe look to it, whereas... This Lars Mickelson interpretation is a little more human-like, but the fact that it's the same guy who did the voice for Thrawn in, in the Rebels animated series, it kind of makes up for it. I, I can look past it, but the Chiss is also a very humanoid-like species, but in Rebels, the Chiss, the Chiss in general, but especially in Rebels, you can kind of see that more alien look. They are bipedal, like humans, but still... But fantastic looking figure, man. Got some really clean paint on his rank plate here. His code cylinders are super clean. The little uh, little shoulder plates over the very nice, beautiful gold, and the, the the blue, the tone of blue that they the color, the shade of blue that they used for the skin looks looks pretty nice too. Got some nice sculpted hair in here. Got it like nice and slicked back. The eyes are nice and nice beady red eyes. So I'm looking forward to showing y'all and actually getting a closer look at this figure myself, but. From what I can see, it, it looks pretty good, man. There's not a whole lot to talk about. As you can see, it's mostly just his imperial white costume. It's not a whole lot of paint or anything other than, like I said, his rank plate, his code cylinders, uh, the silver on the buckle, of course, his boots, and then the photo reel applied paint as well. But like I said, it looks pretty good, man. Uh, it's just nice to have the representation for a newer age Thrawn, live action Thrawn. And I actually prefer this look over the older archive version, but... Let's get into this thing and take a closer look at the paint details and sculpt and all that good stuff. And just getting into the articulation here. Um, there's not a whole lot to go over, but I'm not sure what what blaster this is. Let me focus this in real quick for y'all. Not entirely sure what this blaster is, but the sculpt is cool. I like the, the look of the uh, of it being cast in, a, in that just plain black plastic instead of that sparkly gray that they're doing nowadays. There's even a little touch of silver on here. On both sides looks really nice but it's a pretty clean blaster here and it fits in the holster and look, get this focused first there it is but it fits very snugly into like a glove right into his holster here got this nice belt going around nothing crazy just a black paint a little bit of a missing paint right here but no big deal but Anyways, no butterfly joints on this figure. This is the older officer body, so there don't don't be looking for butterfly joints. Get a decently, get about a full T right here. Not too bad. Arms do spin on this single hinge ball joint. Arm spins 360 degrees. We have a horizontal hinge on the open hand gesture here on the left hand, and a vertical hinge here on the right hand. There with a trigger finger as well. Uh, pretty deep deep cut elbows right here, so you can get less than 90 at the elbow, and there is swivel as well. There's a lot of ab crunch on this figure, or I felt like there was, so he can lean lean back a pretty fair amount. Not, okay, so not as much as I thought. A little bit of side to side. There's rotation at the waist. Getting to the head real quick. There's a little bit of side to side tilt. Not a whole lot. Can't really look up or down a whole lot as either as well, but it does look to be a double double ball neck peg here. So you get a little more, a little more, a little more articulation. He can kick out right in front of him, even with this hard goods uh, officer skirt or like the part of his uh, tunic or shirt here. A lot of kickback on this figure. That's nice. And you get right to 90 at the knee. There's swivel at the knee as well. And the feet ankles can go down that far. They can come up a pretty 
fair. No, they don't. So they can go down that far. They don't really come up that far. That's about as about about level as you're going to get right there. But they do go down a pretty decent amount. There's also boot swivel on here. So there's swivel at the knee, and then there's boot swivel as well. So that's pretty cool. A nice little touch. No thigh cut on this figure. Just this uh, the double double ball peg in here at the waist. But he can get a full split just about. But and there is a little bit of rotation there with the hip on that ball joint, but not a whole lot. And then getting on to the paint and the sculpting here. Like I said, very clean paint. Got this very clean red and blue and yellow on his rank plate. And I'm not exactly sure of the colors of the rank plate, but I would assume this is for Grand Admiral, obviously. And here's his code cylinders on the side of his shirt here, looking very cleanly applied. And this gold is also beautiful as well. Looks to be the same gold that they used on Enoch, maybe a shade darker. But looks pretty, pretty looks pretty good. I like this uh, the holster here. It's glued to this like tunic piece. As well as the belt. Got this nice little touch of silver here. Here's a little miss of paint. As you can see right here. It's not bad. But you can see that line where the black is supposed to go. But no big deal. The boots got some nice texture on them as well. So it's a good looking figure. There's not a whole lot to talk about. But it's because the Imperial Officer outfit is so plain. But it's a it's a really good looking figure. And the likeness to... Um, Lars Mickelson is, is very nice. It looks just like him. I like they captured his likeness very, very well. Photo Rails is continuing to, continuing to improve and improve every year. I wanted to, did want to show y'all a closer look at the eyes here. So there is a very nice red color to his eyes. You can kind of see those pupils as well. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of chip in there on the plastic part just from where they took it out of the mold or whatnot. But nothing, nothing bad. You can kind of just turn the neck down. You won't notice it as much. Nice lines in the hair. So, yeah, not a whole lot to talk about, but it is a, it's, it's a good-looking figure, and it's just nice to have the representation of this newer version, live-action version of Thrawn. So, got some nice paint on the collar here, too. I meant to mention it looks to be... Yeah, it's just like a black or like a very, very dark, dark gray, actually, now that I'm looking off-camera with my eyes. This rank plate is very clean as well. I'll get a little close-up of this. Very, very clean ink plate. And the code cylinders, like I said, right here on the sides. Very clean. Super clean, man. That's very precise. I'm pretty pleased with this. And now I have all three officers body, officer bodies that I have in my collection. Unfortunately, I don't have Tala because I would like to throw in a, a more female officer body, but I don't have her yet. We'll end up, end up eventually picking her up because she does, she is kind of cheap out there on the aftermarket, like 10, 12 bucks. But you can see how good these all look together, and you can see the differences that these, or the similarities that these have. They're the same exact body, same exact pants, lower legs, arms, torso. Everything is exactly the same. The rank plane, everything. But this this Tarkin looks, this is some of the best photo reel as well. Very, very nice. But then just pulling in Tarkin here. I'm sorry, not Tarkin. You get pulling in Thrawn. You start to see the differences. So you can see that trying to look here off camera you see that the rank plates on both admiral rampart and grand moff tarkin a little bit smaller and thrones is a little bit bigger as well as the code cylinders are a little bit more prominent very th those code cylinders are super super just very clean paint but you can tell the pants are totally new as well they don't have this kind of like they still have that, like, th these two on the side have that more, like, World War II uh, German inspiration going on for it. Whereas this Thrawn's pants have a little bit more of a streamlined look. But you can see the differences, especially if you look at the belt a little bit. But even then, it's a lot different. As you can see, uh, Rampart or Tarkin do not have the belt or a holster or anything like that. Just the skirt piece or the tunic piece, I should say. And then I was trying to look look at the arms here to decipher if they were the same. I'm trying to look at. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the same exact arms on these figures. I think it's trying to kind of like line them up. Yeah, these are the same exact arms. I don't know if you can kind of see. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see like the folds of the cloth and the, and the sleeve. The arms are exactly the same, obviously new hands. But 
fantastic looking figure, man. All, all of these, especially Grand Moff Tarkin, but Thrawn, of course, as well. That is the figure we were talking about in this review. But these look, uh, these look pretty damn, pretty damn uniform next to each other, man. I like the way this looks a lot. Starting off with side by side comparisons here. Well, I guess not starting off. I just kind of did that with Rampart and Grand Moff Tarkin. You get what I'm saying. But I just figured I'd throw this two pack from this Walmart exclusive Shriekhawk Trainers two pack in because it is in the Mando verse. But here on the right you can see the male trainer Shriekhawk Trainer, and here on the left is the female. Now standing in here on the left and the right is the same exact figure. This is the single release Target exclusive Shriekhawk, and this one on the left is just one that I custom customized and weathered up, gave gave him a paint job and uh, a dark wash and and some dry brushing with some silver. Really like how he turned out, but these look awesome. Now standing in here on the right is the brand new Ahsoka Tano Peridia, Ahsoka the White. Uh, some of the best, maybe even the best photo reel in the entire line. And then here on the left is brand new out of this year as well, the brand new Phantom Menace Darth Maul. Love both of these figures so much. And now standing in, just wanted to throw in some Rebels representation. Here you can see I have the Rebels crew, some of the Spectres. I'm still missing... Uh, Kanan, and I do have Sabine here in the package. I gotta review her here pretty soon. But, anyways, here on the far left, of course, is Zeb, one of my favorite characters, probably my favorite character from Rebels. Here is the beautiful Hera. Here is Ezra Bridger and Chopper. And the proper send off for side by side comparisons here is probably my favorite two pack of the year. Here on the left is Captain Enoch, and on the right is the Night Trooper Walmart exclusive two-pack, and I love both of these figures so much. And I, this is actually how I plan on displaying them on my shelves, just having them both flanking Admiral Thrawn. This, these, look, these look pretty freaking cool next to each other, man. I, I am really, really digging this. Well, yeah, I reckon that pretty much sums up all my thoughts on this figure. Uh, like I said, there's not a whole lot to go over because the Imperial Officer uniform is pretty plain. However, I can just... Talk, talk more about the shade of blue that they use for his skin tone. I really like that. The likeness, the photo reel to Lars Mickelson is, is there. It's very nicely done. Uh, the rank plate, very clean blues, greens, and I'm sorry, not green. Blues, reds, and yellows. Also his code cylinders here on the side of his chest. Very, very precise, clean paint. I like this like goldish copper brass color that they used on top of his shoulders here. And... Yeah, like I said, just not a whole lot, a whole lot of paint, but the paint that is on here is very well, very well applied, and just really nice to have the live action version of uh, Lars Mickelson's interpretation of Thrawn. And the fact, like I said, numerous times in review, the fact that he voiced Thrawn in Rebels just makes it so much cooler that he's actually acting the live action part for that character. So I'm sure he's pretty pleased and stoked about that as well. And I just can't, get, honestly, I can't get over this. Look how freaking sick this Night Trooper and Captain Enoch look next to Thrawn, man. I, I freaking love these, man. <laughs> these just look so freaking rad next to each other. I can't wait to get these set up on the shelf just like this. Hasbro, if you're watching this, I doubt you are. But if, listen to me and so many other collectors, give us some more of these, man. We need some different, like, ribbons and, and mixed match pieces so we can kit bash. We need more Night Troopers. One of the most badass designs to come out of Disney Star Wars for for sure, in my opinion. But that wraps it up for this review today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like and subscribe. You probably enjoy some of my other content. I do mostly Black Series focused content, but I do do I I do cover uh, Marvel Legends, NECA. Uh, it, sometimes I'll throw a McFarlane. I'll, it just depends. It really just depends. Anything that I think is cool that I'm into and that I want to share my thoughts and opinions on with y'all and. Maybe even convince y'all to get it for y'all's shelf. Maybe y'all think it's cool. But like I said, leave me a like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. I appreciate all of you so very much. Hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. May the force be with you.